three different teams partic participating in this match, and we're going to be playing on Coastline. If there was a map that I would say... Cocktail Bar, for example. Yeah. Absolutely, and, and, and there's a chance that that was a response to that, because they weren't the ones that banned Capital. They see a ban, they go, you know what? So Psycho knows that there's a hard hold in the main lobby. So does Gohan. And Gohan's actually going to get a pick in the kitchen, so this Ooh. is a totally different thing. Well, the only one that wasn't affected by IQ, no dead. Yeah. There you go, that's going to be upstairs. Muzi doing some great work with his pistol, and Julio also takes out PZD. It's just wag all of a sudden, but he can deny the plant from security using his yokai drones. Even away, since he's been laying out that fire, he's being flanked, and he will be shut down by Muzi with just a sliver of HP. Ninjas in pajamas. Take round number one. Very impressive round for them. Just dismantling. Well, main lobby roam here by the Legion. Live getting oh. very aggressive. He is like, please shoot me. I wonder if he's going to get anything out of it. No, he has two opportunities. He misses them, but perfect run out. There we go. And he gets Muzi. So way to go. GDN, though, what are you doing so low on health? And Wag also downed here. So all the help you get on those yokais and you squander it. Live at least able to uh, follow that up again. Nicely done. Onto the buck. Phone call there on Black Dragon's going to give away position. Psycho gets one, but doesn't see the other. Oh. Laying in the bush. Wag on low HP, so if he's spotted, he'll be dispatched easily. And as you see, Kamikaze by Blue Bar Window will take down live. Nice nade placement there, either from Julia or Psycho. Either way, it'll be Psycho to finish him off. Ooh, that's half of PZD's health going on that nade as well. Yeah, and he's downed and eliminated by Psycho downstairs, who gets his third for the round. It's just Wag, who gets one, denying the plant. SMG out, the spray, but not on point. And Julio, the final kill, Ninjas in Pajamas, two in a row. Well done. Definitely on top of that there. Poor Echo still. I mean, half the round now expired. I've heard a couple of nades at least been used. Oh, C4 though, a little more potent apparently. So it's coming into uh, Puka, not gonna be doing much there. Panico eats a little bit, but GDN a long angle play onto Gohan, gets to by the phone call, so he doesn't even need to think about anything there. Nope, he can just stay boosted up and do his job. Did he just put an airdrop on the window? Weird. Muzi working his way up blue stairs. Apparently nobody's watching that. He gets one. That's the leadoff kill on the Yokai. He's no longer going to be able to stun anybody. Live gets another on the entry there, and it's going to be a shutdown here for BD. Nice try there from Nip to uh, come in all at the same time, but it just didn't work out in the end. Well, that lead C4 kill definitely opened things up. Hammers slowing things down a lot, as you can see. They seem to be adapting well, and that's good, good for them. But Ooh, down goes the big. Echo. Muzi looking for a second. In VIP, it seems. He's somehow still alive. That's live. Trying his best to delay, and he will be shut down by Gohan. Nope, good try, but now that's two players down. And as I say that, Muzi goes down, and Gohan actually at low health. So this could be... You might not have even noticed. Coming into Hall of Fame, there's no way the attackers expect this. He should get a free kill onto the buck, and he does. Down he goes. Julio gets an entry, though, in the site, and that's really important. There's another one, this time for Panico. Ninjas in Pajamas, not in control. They were for such a long time, but they just lost it with the VIP flank. Julio trying to take down PZD, but he's going to miss his shots. And there's one for Kamikaze in the site. Panico leaving himself exposed, calling Kamikaze's position. C4 will not do enough damage to get the kill. I believe just a little bit. But that's going to allow for the continued plant from Kamikaze, the cover from Julio. It should be easy for Julio, and yes, indeed it is. Ninjas in Pajamas take their third round. It definitely came pretty close. Again, the adaptations coming out from Black Dragons are impressive. It's just appearing that is unfortunate for Dave's uh, whole extended family. Apparently, mosquitoes are multiplying right now. Down goes the Legion to Gohan without forcing him to rotate. Defender. Like a little peekaboo from the oh. oh, the run out punished. Freebie for Gohan, thank just yet. Nade's going towards Sunrise Bar. There's currently no one there, but there are people in the hallway. GDN punished on the long angle. That's three for Gohan in this round. Live gets down, and Muzi with a double to end it. It's a flawless round for Ninjas in Pajamas. Well, looking like we could potentially continue that 7-2 that we had to skip over last match. Good intel from this team. I mean, he's set up in a great spot to do it, because it looks like it's going to be a Aqua take. Panico is going to take down Gohan on that very same thing he wants to do. The attack is shifting now, and Panico is going to take down Kamikaze, another player. Game round is the one that Black Dragons managed to win on their first victory on this site, and they're currently only. But look like looks like it's going to be their second as... Uh, oh, Julio actually does take down lives. Attacked, and if so, it'll be obvious what this play is. Mm. Now it has been relayed to the rest of the team that the push is on blue stairs, and he'll be shut down. Black Dragons 
Managed to take 4-2 in this first half, but in favor of Nip. So not the end of the world as a defense of coastline, especially if you're not comfortable on this map. Give him weight, and he's still pushing it. Oh, exposing his side as well, but he's got flank coverage from his teammate. Oh, man. There's definitely going to be a refrag for Ninjas in Pajamas, and it's not even going to need to be a refrag as Muzi wins that fight heads up. Gohan also takes down GDN, so it's all working for Ninjas in Pajamas in the main lobby. Meanwhile, the Doki be trying to push in. Nice shot from Panico. On point, and Live gets his second, so they're not out of this just yet. In fact, it'll be a 2v2 as Wag goes down to Julio. Constant back and forth. Panico very exposed right now, whether he knows it or not. Live is going to die to Mo uh, Muzi in the main lobby, leaving just Panico, who has been landing his shots, to be fair, but it's not going to be enough. As Muzi gets his third, and it's his pajamas, yet another round. Doc really tanked those shots there at the end, but just... I mean, Panico and Hard Angle might have some support from security for all we know. But no, actually, I think it's an enemy pushing in right now, and it'll be a freebie for Gohan, but Live gets the refrag. Muzi gonna be able to add to the tally. Oh, he gets refragged himself. Normally, you'd be worried about an ADS from the Jaeger, but there is no Jaeger, because he's been banned. Nice angle from Wag, and he'll get his second. Nip. Tick tock, 25 seconds. Psycho gets a long angle kill on the Live. He was on low HP, but still, it's a kill. C4 goes out, and it Ow. gets, I believe, both of them. Yes, indeed. Perfectly tossed from Kamikaze and Ninjas in Pajamas. Another round to add to the board. I just love the combo of... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Looks like the uh, Jackal used a good effect there. Live is going to be eliminated by Gohan on a pre-fire. I'm not sure, though. Hard to really tell. Spot coming out onto a Psycho from the Footprints. And oh. There we go. Fight back again. Muzi this time instead of Gohan. That was... Oh, that must have been an amazing shot for Muzi, and he's going to get a second on Wag. It's looking over right now for Black Dragons, as they have but two players left. He has a minute to work with, but that probably won't matter. A cycle eliminates PCD, the final for Muzi. A flawless round to end it out, and another, our third, 7-2 for the day. FaZe messed it up that throwing round. Gosh darn it, FaZe. We're going to have that word with them. Mm-hmm. It's probably because of the, honestly, that round where they came back after was, the rehost. Yeah, that was it. That's what did it. They weren't focused. They weren't. Elevate, elevate, sabotage them by not being able to come back into the game. It was like a 40 minute rehost or something, yeah. like 30 to 40, and they were like, whoa, wait, we're Only playing so much again? Hunt you can play. <laughs> yeah.